Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a trigonometric equation with complex numbers. So we have tangent z equals square root of 3i divided by 2 and we're going to be solving for z values. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this equation. First of all, can the tangent of an angle be imaginary or complex? That's a good question. Since this channel deals with complex numbers, everything is possible, right? So to be able to solve for z, we could use the arctangent function. But what is arctangent of square root of 3i over 2? So we could kind of start by drawing a right triangle. Even though it's not going to make much sense, it is going to work. So let's suppose we have a right triangle like this, and this is our angle Z, which is imaginary. You're just imagining it, right? You're not supposed to see it. And tangent Z is equal to root 3i over 2. So we can do a couple different things here. For example, I can assume that this side measures root 3i and this side measures 2. I could also do root 3i over 2 for this side and then one for the other side. It doesn't really matter. The ratio matters because everything changes accordingly. So find the hypotenuse here. We're going to go ahead and call this C. Uh, a squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So we're going to square A. We're going to square B. And that's equal to C squared. What is square root of 3I squared? That is 3I squared, which is negative 3, right? Plus 2 squared is 4. And from here we get C squared equals 1, which gives us a real value. So C is real, can you imagine? And of course, this is real as well. The problem is hypotenuse is supposed to be the longest side. In this case, it isn't too bad because complex numbers are involved. But does this make sense at all? For example, what is cosine or sine, right? So from here, we could evaluate cosine of Z. And that would be not necessarily true, by the way, because I assumed Z is acute doesn't have to be because tangent can be positive, I mean, like, it's kind of imaginary positive, in the third quadrant as well. So, but anyways, from cosine, from here is going to be 2 over 1, which is 2. So we could also proceed with this, possibly, but could cosine z would be negative 2, maybe, when the tangent is still root 3i over 2, so something to think about. But we could definitely use this, and there is a formula for cosine. But let's go ahead and look at it from a more general perspective. We have what's called Euler's formula, right? So what does it look like? It looks like this. e to the i z equals cosine z plus i sine z. Awesome. What about uh, replacing z with negative z? Gives us cosine of negative z, which is the same as cosine z, so e to the power of negative i z is cosine z, plus i times negative sine z, because sine of negative z is negative sine z, but we're just going to write it as negative i sine z. If you add these two equations and, you know, just divide by 2, you get the following formulas. Cosine z is e to the i z plus e to the negative i z, and all of that is divided by 2. And similarly, we can find sine z, but we just got to subtract and divide by 2i instead of 2. Great. So since we have the formulas for sine and cosine, could we have used these two to find tangent? And the answer is yes, you can. So again, we could proceed with this one because we already know what cosine z is. So you might as well just use this. Let's just say cosine z equals this, and it's equal to 2. So from here, we get e to the i z plus e to the negative i z equals 4. And then we can write this as e to the i z plus, I don't know why I'm kind of writing sloppy, e to the i z plus 1 over e to the i z equals 4. And finally, by way of substitution, let's call this w, we get w plus 1 over w equals 4. Multiply everything by w. w squared plus 1 equals 4w. And then you can bring this w over here. w squared minus 4w plus 1 equals 0. And by way of quadratic formula, 
or any other method you, you know, deem appropriate. You can solve this, w equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, which is minus 4, divided by 2. This is 4 plus minus, now this is the square root of 12, which is 2 root 3, and all of that is divided by 2, so that's going to give us 2 plus minus root 3. What does that mean? Hmm. That's interesting. What is w, first of all, right? w is e to the power iz. So if e to the power iz is 2 plus root t, for example, 2 plus root 3, then from here we should be able to solve for z, right? How? Uh, we could use the natural log or any other form. We could also turn this into the polar form, which would be like this. 2 plus root 3 multiplied by e to the power 2 pi and i which represents one in the complex world, by the way. There's a way to complexify one. And of course, you can always multiply an expression by one, which wouldn't change it. But when we do the natural logs, it is gonna make a difference because of the period or the complex logarithm. So here's what we get by natural logging both sides. I z equals ln two plus root three plus ln of this is gonna be just two pi and i. By the way, I forgot to say, n is an integer, all right? And then we can multiply everything by negative i. When we do here, that'll, that's going to give us negative i squared, which is 1. So we're going to get 2 pi n minus i times ln 2 plus root 3. So it looks like z becomes this from here. But what is ln of 2 plus root 3? It's a real value the ln, so it should be good, right? Because 2 plus root 3 is real and greater than zero. So we got one of the solutions. The other one should be pretty similar to this one. But how could you find it with tangent? That's a good question, right? Well, here's the thing. If you divide sine by cosine, you get a formula for tangent. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll see how we can find the answer from tangent. Same idea with tangent. Or you can memorize it, right? Tangent is sine over cosine, as you should know, right? And this is e to the iz minus e to the negative iz divided by 2i multiplied by the reciprocal of cosine, which is 2 over e to the iz plus e to the negative iz. They don't cancel out, but if you want, you can multiply the top and the bottom by e to the power iz to get rid of anything with a negative exponent. So you can do that, doesn't matter, no big deal, but it can be done, okay? And from there, we're gonna find the value. Uh, but here's what I would recommend. Uh, first of all, multiplying by negative i will take care of this. So we're gonna have a negative i in the numerator, multiply by e to the iz minus e to the negative iz, and all of that is divided by e to the iz plus e to the negative iz because negative i squared is one, as you should know. If you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos. If you like algebra, number theory, trigonometric problems, check out Cyber Math, my other channel, Cyber with an S. Okay, here we can get the z value by using substitution again. Let's go ahead and set this equal to w. This time it's a different w, so don't get stuck with the previous one. Uh, we can kind of write tangent z as negative i times w minus 1 over w divided by w plus 1 over w. By the way, this is equal to root 3 i over 2. One thing that's super duper good about it is the i cancels out. And then by multiplying by w's, you'll get rid of all the radicals. Cross multiplication is going to be a quadratic formula or quadratic equation. And it should turn out to be the same thing. So why not? Uh, why keep checking or doing an alternative method? That's why we already have the answer. So we already erased it, but you get the idea. Why are we didn't this one? So this is the solution of one of the solutions. Of course, you can try it for the other value. But let's go ahead and check out Wolfram Alpha, see if you can figure it out. What do you think? Yes? And let's check it out. Wolfram Alpha, ta-da-da-da, cannot solve the problem. I don't know why it's even going into... Ten, tangent, hyperbolic, inverse, something like that. Anyways, 
It doesn't give us a nice value. Unfortunately, too bad. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.